because this is history and they try to take this away from you in school. All right, they call it critical race theory. All right, they're trying to take away so you won't know who you are in your history. But God has it right here for you. This is this is our this is why in slavery they did not want us to read because we would know who we were and then we would come up out of our our, our funk. And guess what? We can read now. That's so being that we can read now, we can teach our people the truth. That's it. All right. Uh, give me that. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. No. But it shall come to pass. It's going to happen. This is Moses prophesizing to us in the wilderness after we came out of Egypt. Read. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If you will not listen to the voice of the Lord thy God. If you will not listen to his laws. Read. To observe. To do all his commandments. To observe and to do. To do is an action word. You have to apply yourself. Read. And his statutes which I command thee this day. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So, is a curse a good thing or a bad thing? Okay, I'm going to show you exactly how powerful this Bible is. Why did it go to verse 68? Do you believe slavery is in the Bible? Do you believe the transatlantic slave trade is in the Bible? I wouldn't know. I wouldn't say yes or no. Okay, I won't give you an education. Read Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. When the Lord's going to bring us into Egypt again. All right? When we came out of Egypt with Moses, did we go back into Egypt? Read it again from the top. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. With ships. We're going to go back in Egypt. Egypt is synonymous with bondage. Give me that right quick. Oh yeah, Deuteronomy. All right, so when you hear Egypt, with the all right, it means bondage. All right, the real name of Egypt was called Mizraim. Say it again. Mizraim. Okay, that that was the real name of Egypt. But Egypt means bondage. You. It's the Book of Exodus, chapter twenty and verse two. I am the Lord thy God. This is God speaking. Which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Out of the house of bondage. Out of the house of bondage. Egypt means house of bondage. Go back to 68. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. With ships. Keep reading. By the way whereof I have spoken unto thee. This is Moses saying, this is going to happen the way I'm telling you. Read. Thou shalt see it no more again. You're not going to see your homeland no more again. Read. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. There you're going to be sold unto your enemies. Who was they selling over here? Who came over here in ships and was sold? There you go. Read. For bondmen. Slave men. And bondwomen. Slave women. And no man shall buy you. Meaning nobody's going to be able to redeem us. Martin Luther King tried to redeem us. Malcolm X tried to redeem us. Marcus Garvey tried to redeem us. They did not have the power to bring us out of these curses. Read. That's it? Okay. So now, the transatlantic slave trade is in the Bible. This was prophesied over three, four thousand years ago. What? Because God knew we were not going to keep his laws. So, where we are now, this is our punishment. When your daughter does something wrong, what do you do? something that she likes away. Hey, God took our freedom away right. through our butts in slavery. You know. But now we're coming out of it because Christ came and redeemed his people. Give me that again. All right, because Christ has only come for the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. This is our punishment. This is what happened to us. This is us being sold on the auction block. This is the sub-Saharan slave trade. Our brothers and sisters want to be Muslims. Mecca was the trading point, the biggest trading place for slaves. Our women were sold as concubines. Our men was tortured and beat and murdered and put to work. Right. So don't get it twisted. The Arabs are in it too. Right. This happened before the transatlantic slave trade. It's called the sub-Saharan slave trade. See, these are things they don't teach you in school and they definitely don't teach in the church. Right. Read. It's the book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not set 
but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's all Christ is coming for. When they give you that John 3.16, John 3.16 is referring to Israel. That's right. The world of Israel. Not the entire world here. The, the Chinese, the Japanese, the white man, the Arabs, all of them, Christ ain't coming for them. Bring it out. This is their kingdom now. They in rulership. All right? Lord's will, we repent of our sins and start keeping God's laws. Guess what? We get the kingdom. So these little bitty mansions that they got around here ain't nothing compared to what we gonna have. And guess what? Here's the good part. They ain't gonna get to be our slaves. That's right. Yo. Ain't that a good thing? So it, it turns on them. The Most High created them to destroy them. But he used them as a tool, a vessel, to inflict his punishment on us. Whooping give me, stick. Uh, thank you, whooping stick. Uh, give me uh, Hosea. Yeah. Is that fiction? Yeah, 515. So, this is what happens with our people because God calls us stiff necked, rebellious people. We hard headed. So we gotta keep getting our butt whipped and whipped and whipped and whipped and whipped until we get it right. My grandmother used to say, hard head make the soft behind. All right, you got that? Yes, sir. Give me that. It's the book of Hosea, chapter five and verse 15. I will go and return to my place. This is the most high saying he's gonna go and return to his place because we don't listen, read. Till they acknowledge their offense. Until we acknowledge what the hell we were doing wrong, read. And see my face. And seek my face. Until you read that again and read it right. Till they acknowledge their offense. From the top. I will go and return unto my place. The most High is going to go and return to his place. Go. Till they acknowledge their offense. And seek my face. So, until we acknowledge his offense, our offense, and then we're going to search and look for God. Because he was there with us in, in the wilderness. When we came out of Egypt, we saw the chariots. We saw a lot of things. We saw the Red Sea split open. We saw all these things. And yet what we do, we turn around and went back into niggerdom. Read. In their affliction, they will seek me early. In their affliction, when we have affliction, when, oh, Ray Ray got killed. This one here got cancer. This one here is sick now. All these things start afflicting us. What happened? What's the first thing that come out their mouth? And they get into something. Oh my God, why did this happen? This is the scripture that's telling, this is what the scripture is telling. He said, in their affliction, they will seek the earth. But we didn't have to do that. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is